Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be going over the top 5 best clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online. But before that, if you do want to enter our 15,000 subscriber shop card giveaway, then all you got to do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then comment the word giveaway, and you'll be entered into that. But yeah, anyway, let's just get straight into the video. Right guys, so next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the modded coloured riot helmets. So first up, what you want to do is park outside any clothing store with a car. You then simply want to head inside and head over to the hat section. Once here, you want to go to helmets and then you want to scroll down until you see these four that I've bought here. You then want to go ahead and purchase these as these are what are going to give you the colours. So to begin with, I'm going to go with the pink one. So um, I've equipped this digital helmet, just like to show you which one it is. But then you want to go ahead and buy the LSPD Riot helmet. If you guys don't want to have to spend hours grinding out these glitches, be sure to check out the instant delivery modded accounts from MitchCactus.com, which is available for Xbox, PlayStation and PC. That comes with between 50 million to 1 billion dollars, as well as RP level 100 and more. They also offer account boost, meaning that an existing account of yours can have money or RP added to it. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. There will be a link in the pinned comment and description and be sure to use code EVADE for 5% off. Once you've bought this, you want to go into the interaction menu, uh, go to style and you want to simply make sure that the helmet visor says visor down and then you want to go up to the bike helmet and you want to go to the... So I'm going for the digital helmet because this is going to give me the pink one. But yeah, you just want to simply choose the helmet you chose earlier. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and register as a CEO. Then in the CEO menu, you want to go to management and then hover over style and walk over to your car. You then want to go to get in your car and then select style, then flick one to the right, then go one to the left, then get out. Then you want to simply back out of the interaction menu, hold right on the D-pad. And as you can see, the colour will appear and if you hold right again the visor will go down. So yeah in my opinion this is a really good clothing glitch as you can get four different colours and it just looks sick don't it like look how it just flows with my outfit so I'm now going to show you the other colours so this next one is I'm pretty sure the purple one there we are. So again this one looks really cool in my opinion uh, my favourite one is probably the pink or the green one to be fair the orange one's good as well um, but yeah this next one is the orange one And then finally, we've got the green helmet. There we are. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just a really cool glitch. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best ones. I do like it, I can't lie. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, that's it for this glitch. It's simple, but yeah, I think it looks really good. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, so for the second clothing glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the duffel bag. So to start, you're going to open your interaction menu, head over to motorcycle club, and you're going to want to register as an MC president. Then from here just go to services and you're going to want to request your terabyte. Once it arrives just head inside. Now head over to the computer. Head over to client jobs and you want to start a robbery in progress. Then just come back onto the computer and you're going to want to cycle through all these CCTV cameras until you find the bank that is being robbed like this. I just want to quickly mention that 96% of you are not actually subscribed. So if you could subscribe and help us reach the goal of 10,000 subscribers, then that would be amazing. Now just head over to this bank. Now from here you're going to want to kill everyone that is in the bank and outside the bank, so all the cops and all that. And then one of them inside is going to drop a duffel bag. So if you go and pick that up, then you'll be wearing the duffel bag. Now from here you just want to get a flying vehicle like an oppressor or you could use a heli, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want to fly high above the yellow circle that it is telling you to go to. From here just drop off of the bike or the heli and deploy your parachute and now you're going to land exactly in the yellow circle. So you can use L1 and R1 or LB and RB, if you hold both of them you will fall a little bit slower so that you can time this correctly. Yeah, you want to land exactly in the circle. 
right here like I do, I land in the circle and fall over which is perfect. Now from here you're going to want to head over to any gun store. From here head over to the front desk, head over to the parachutes and you're going to purchase the Israel shoot mag which is number 25. Then just come into interaction menu in style and then equip the parachute so that it's showing. From here you're going to need to fly over to the mask store once again with the heli or the oppressor, fly high above, jump off and you're going to land exactly in front of the clothing store like I show at this part. You land right here, your character falls over. As you are getting up, you're going to want to spam right on the d-pad. Then just head into your saved outfits and you're going to want to save this outfit. And now if you walk away and equip the outfit, as you can see it now has the duffel bag. So that is how you get the duffel bag in GTA Online. Right guys, so for this next glitch I'm going to be showing you how you can get the white joggers. Um, these are actually fake compared to the real ones, but this is the best method by far, and they still have the invisible ankles. So yeah, this is the best method that doesn't require two consoles. Anyway, let's get into it. So first of all, you need to delete all of your saved outfits. However, you can stay in the one that you want to save. Then once you've done that, you want to go into the menu, go to online, and then you want to swap character. Once you've done that, this is a transfer glitch. So you want to make sure that you have a male character on the right. So here, I'm going to make a brand new female character. And then you want to take a picture. Then you want to simply load back into an online session. Once you've done that, you want to look to see if you can see any clothing stores. I can't, so I'm just going to go ahead and load into a new session. Once you've loaded into a new session, you want to head on to the map and go to the nearest clothing store. Once inside, you want to head on over to the accessories section. And then you want to make sure that your female character has no accessories equipped. Mine didn't have any equip, so you just want to head on over to the pants section, go to sport pants and equip the spotted muscle pants. You then want to go to shoes, go to boots and equip the uh, deluxe midnight combat boots. These are going to give you the all white sports shoes. And then you can save this in like the second slot, just number it like one. And then you want to go to boots, head down to number 48, I think it is. Now 45 and equip crimson, crimson cowboy boots. And this is going to give you the shoes with the invisible ankles. Once you've done this, you can check with the lady at the till you've got both saved and then you want to go ahead and take the easy way out and this is going to make a quick save. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and load up creator. So go to online, then go to creator. Then once you've loaded in, you want to go to create a race, go to tutorial and then select that. Once you've loaded in, you can then go to the menu again. Go to online, then go ahead and choose character. Once loaded in, you want to go ahead and delete the female character you've just made. You then want to press B and load back into story mode. B or circle, depends what you're playing on. Once loaded in, you just want to go ahead and join an online session again. And then once you've loaded in, you want to go ahead and head on over to the nearest clothing store. And then if you've done it right so far, you should have these both saved. So now you can go ahead and save the outfit you wanted to keep in slot number 20. And then you want to go ahead and select any standard outfit. You then went head on over to pants and select the light grey cargoes. And then once you've done this, you want to go on over to boots and select any of the boots that will tuck the pants in on. Once you've done that, you want to remove the shirt and then remove the glasses. You then want to go on the menu, go to jobs, play job bookmarks. The job is linked in the description. But yeah, then go to missions and open up its achieving. So yeah, you then want to make sure that it's set to player saved outfits and then go ahead and invite someone and join. Once you load in, you can then flick one or two to the right, depending on what shoes you want. So I'm going to go for invisible ankles, so I've gone for slot number two. So as you can see in the job, I've also got an invisible torso pretty much. But yeah, I've got the white joggers on now with the invisible ankles. So then you just want to go ahead and drive on over to where your apartment should be. Then once here, surprise surprise, you want to head on over to your wardrobe and then go ahead and save it in any slot. That's like white joggers or something. 
then you want to go ahead and quit the job through your phone. Then when you load in, you'll see it hasn't worked yet. So then you want to go to style and then select white joggers. And there you go. The, the shirt will appear back, but you will still have the white joggers and you will still have the invisible ankles or the or white sports shoes, depending on which one you chose. But yeah, it's just, this is the best, easiest method I know on how you can get them without needing like two consoles or any of that bollocks. Alright, so for the final clothing glitch of today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the IAA badge onto any outfit in GTA. So to start, you're going to come over to this yellow U on the map right here. Once you're here, now just open up the interaction menu and equip the outfit that you want the IAA badge on. So I'm going to be using this Galaxy outfit right here. Yeah, now all you want to do is just open up your pause menu, go to online and go to playlists, then click create a playlist. And click add a stunt race and add the first stunt race that shows up. Once you've done that, now you can just come down and save this playlist and call it whatever you want. Once you've done that, now just walk inside of this yellow helio so there goes option in the top left. Now just open up your pause menu, go to online, go to playlists, my playlist, and you're going to start the playlist that we just saved. And on the first alert, what you're going to do, you're going to want to accept this alert, and as soon as you do, you're going to want to spam right on your d-pad. So right here, I accept the alert and spam right on the d-pad. We should get loaded into the job, however, the title should actually be ULP Intelligence. So as long as this is right, now you can just confirm the settings and start up the job. Now on this screen, you should see this like globe in the background with an eagle on top of it. Now if you do actually see a car in the background, then you're going to have to restart this glitch. But yeah, as long as you see what I'm seeing in the background, then you can simply just hit ready to play. Now we're going to get this cutscene, but uh, as you can see our character actually has the IAA badge. Once the cutscene has ended, as you can see we still have the IAA badge on our saved outfit. It's nice short to come over to your apartment so we can save it. Now keep in mind, your apartment is actually, isn't actually actually going to show up on your minimap, so you're going to need to know where it is. But yeah, once you arrive, just head inside, come over to the wardrobe. And then we can save this outfit in any slot and then you can simply just leave the job through your phone and once we're back in an online session now just equip the outfit that we just saved and boom there you go we now have the iaa badge onto this saved outfit right guys so next up i'm going to be showing you how you can glitch the crew emblem onto any piece of clothing as you can see here on any show so first up, you want to equip the ultralight vest, um, and then you want to go down to crew emblem and select back crew emblem. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and start making your outfit that you want the emblem to be on. So you just basically want to go ahead and choose a shirt that the vest stays over. And then this is what the emblem is going to glitch onto. And then you can just match the rest of your outfit however you want. Once you've made your outfit and you're happy with it, then you want to go into the interaction menu, go down to style and then go to accessories, and then you want to simply equip the scarf. Once you've done this, you then want to go into the map and head on over to the master. Once you arrive, you want to go on over to masks and then go down to headscarves. 
you didn't want to go ahead and select any and as you can see the rest will disappear there we are guys as you can see the emblem has glitched through onto the shelf so then all that's left to do is go into the interaction menu go to style and then you want to go down to masks and unequip it and there we are you have the outfit with the crew emblem i hope you guys found this glitch useful anyway on to the next one but yeah, they were the top 5 best clothing glitches in GTA 5 Online after the latest patch, so I hope all of you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe, but anyway, I'll see you in the next one.